Hi, I'm Christina from Two Peas in a Bucket, and this is Christina's Picks. Today, my picks are the um, Hocus Pocus collection from Pink Paisley, and I'm supposed to mention that they're one of our um, Halloween event sponsors. I did my job. Okay, um, so this is what I would consider a grown-up Halloween collection. Um, this is the collection kit that I have here. And I'm just going to show you the different pieces that are in it. And most of the papers, or all of the papers, are available also just free, um, single sheet. This is the die cut one. Now, I've seen some really cool things done with this in the gallery where they've taken the inside out and used this frame for something other than Halloween, which I thought was really cool. And then I noticed one the other day where they cut it out and had another thing that was over the top of it and torn. It's really cool. So if you look at this product in the store and you look at the things, the related content and stuff, there's some really neat projects done with this in the gallery. I was thinking that it would look really cool in a 12 by 12 frame and then doing something here with a three, making the spider three dimensional and maybe even putting in some like stickles or something to make it glittery or whatever and it would make a great super fast and easy home decor project. And it's not cutesy. That's what I meant by like it's a, it's a grown-up collection. There's some really neat icons and elements in here. Um, you know, the diff all the different pieces that are on this pattern paper, swirls and dots and the net and those are kind of gross, those flies. Um, but like, I love this frame here and like this really cool skeleton. I think he's really cool. He's very vintagey and very realistic, but it's not scary. Um, and that's what I like. And I, what I liked about this collection also are these, are these pieces. And what I ended up doing was actually cutting these pieces out um, and using them in my layout, like I just used his head and I just ended up using pieces of this frame within my, my layout, just as parts and pieces. And I really liked it. Um, some really great damasks, a really nice purple. And they're all kind of distressed and edged all, um, around the edges and stuff like that. So very vintage -y, very current, I think. Kind of trendy. Um, I love the Ouija board, the game board. I don't know. I, I was played this as a kid, so it kind of made me chuckle when I saw it. Um, all the different pieces, again, here, vintage imagery and the hands and stuff. I think this is great. Green. All the papers are double-sided. I like this one, too. I love the tree silhouette down at the bottom. And I really like this piece of ornate frame. A lot of different things you could do with this. I cut a piece of it out and used it um, just in, as a part of an element, but not all together. Love this damask. I love that it has the skull and crossbones in it. This is a great seal. Um, I think this is cool. I like this one a lot. I like the number in it. Again, a lot of overlaying details on this the different patterns and swirls and frame and a stripe and polka dot Oops. and then there's this great little scully chandelier on it this one um one thing you didn't know, probably notice but there's no black there's no black in this collection so when i did my layout i ended up using a whole bunch of other blacks that i pulled from my scrap bin but this is a letter sticker um it's only available in the collection kit um, a nice cream. The purple has a little bit of a texture on it. You can see I used a few of it on my own layout, a few pieces. And then the element stickers are also only available in the collection kit. Create a really nice banner, several borders. Um, one thing to note on this one is that the stars actually are not connected. If you want them, you don't have to have them. And they create a really nice just open star border. Um, all that kinds of different things. Little tickets, um, great elements. Lots of fun. Um, so that is all the different pieces and those things come in the collection kit. It also comes in a 6x6, six six, which actually I ended up using more on my layout than the other. Um, this is the collection pack. So you get three of each of the designs. And what I like is that they are sm smaller of the, the same thing. Um, they're not double-sided, but so you have that element again, but he's just, it's just much that much smaller. And I think that's really cool. I like that. I could see myself cutting that out and using that. Again, this one I think is great. Let me see. I used this one on my sheet because I really liked the design, but the whole, um, the big 12 by 12 was just too big to use on my layout. Um, I think that might be it. Just, just all of them. So anyway, so that that's the six by six, and it's great. It coordinates really well with this really cool little album that they have. It has the printed um, cover and the back. Um, it has a, some great overlaying textures and stuff. And then it has all these chipboard pages. And obviously, these papers fit perfect. Um, you just need to cut them down or do whatever you want to make yourself an, a really great little chipboard album. Really, I also saw some really cool things done with that in the, uh, in the gallery. Um, these are the clear cards. Um, I'll open these up and I'm going to use a white so you can see what they look like because they all have a little bit of foil on them and they're um, each one of them has a little di different color on it. This one actually is kind of black or gold, I think. 
Um, and you can see that there's a texture um, also printed on it. This one is blue and bronze. There's that great skeleton guy again. All different kinds of designs and elements on these and the clear cards would be great for overlaying, dog hair in there, sorry, overlaying inside that mini book. Um, some other things, some great pieces, the badges. Um, this is a adornment, actually, one great big piece. It's kind of cool, it'd be really neat on the cover of a, of a mini book. Um, the um, the uh, Robins. I like all of the different elements. It's very grown up, very vintagey, and, and like I said, it's very trendy, these different things. You don't see any pumpkins or, um, you know, smiling pumpkins or anything like that. So um, you can see that these are the glitter stickers. I did use a piece of this one on my layout, and actually I'm going to show it to you because but it does actually kind of cut off. It's a spider web, but it cuts off right here. So I used some of the other pieces that were on the sticker sheet to just create it so that it continued a little bit and wrapped around my photo to give it a little more dimension. You can see, I'm just gonna show you really quick. This is that big, huge 12 by 12 cutout sheet. And I just used a part of it right here just to create a simple border. Um, I don't know, I just wanted to just use part of it, but not the whole piece. Great for a corner or just all the way across kind of a frame, and you could use it as two different headers. And here's just that piece right here that I was telling you about um, and used in the thing. And then these, actually, those little tabs come from the great little um, flip notes book. I think this is cute, too. A lot of the same elements inside here that you saw on the pattern papers. Um, it's just repeated over and over. I love this. I love that it has the, the, the black and white newspaper type corners. Same elements. There that guy is again. And so what I did is I just cut some of the pieces out and tore some of the things and used some of the strips on my layout. Um, some additional pieces are the uh, canvas borders. Really nice. I've seen some people use these and in ink the edges. You could mist them, fray them, all kinds of things. Um, letter stickers. The tinsel ribbon. Um, and then I just pulled a couple other letter stickers from around. Actually, this is the black that I use. The urban, it's an urban prairie kettle, base, basic gray. I'll always love their solids. So if you're looking for a great black, other than um, a cardstock, we have this great black solid. See, I just pulled a whole bunch of different letter stickers. I used a bunch from my stash. The um, Shindig from Doodlebug to give it a little bit of glitter. This one's from American Crafts. Um, just some basic orange ones. I just grabbed a bunch of orange different things from around my collection and from our store. Um, the Echo Park has this really great little orange one to use in this really nice black um, gothic looking alphabet. Um, even just some chipboard stickers. All different kinds of oranges out there actually in the store that you could pull together. I like to use tone on tone for my titles and use a lot of different oranges. Um, I know it's hard to read sometimes from far away. When you're looking at it in my book, I like the, the subtle title and the way that it looks. Um, but there's a lot of different letter stickers that you can use to coordinate with the collection. So um, that's it. That's the Pink Paisley Collection. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.